Hello and welcome back to another exciting video on motion graphics. I would like to tell you that now we can create website animations in After Effects and export them using a free extension called Body Movin. This extension helps us preview and export the animations. I will also explain which file formats and free extensions we require to export animations from After Effects. So, this is today's video curriculum. We'll start by understanding what web animation Lottie and JSON formats are, where to use them, why developers need the Lottie and JSON formats instead of other web formats, the limitations of the Lottie format, and so on. So, without further ado, let's get started. Web animation refers to any kind of moving graphics or visual effects that you see on websites and web applications. These can range from simple transitions and effects to more complex interactive animations. The purpose of these animations is to enhance the user experience by making websites more engaging and visually appealing. Now let's talk about Lottie and JSON. Lottie and JSON are formats that allow you to export animations from Adobe After Effects for use on websites. These JSON files work on the web or in mobile apps. The beauty of Lottie and JSON is that they are lightweight and scalable making them perfect for use on websites and apps. So, to summarize, web animation is a broad term for all animations used on websites, whereas Lottie and JSON are specific formats that are efficient and easy to use. Lottie animations are highly favored by developers for several reasons. Firstly, they are lightweight, stored as JSON files, which ensure faster load times and better performance for websites and apps compared to other formats like GIF, CSS, or MP4. Secondly, Lottie animations are vector-based, allowing them to scale without losing quality, which is essential for responsive design across different devices. Additionally, Lottie animations offer seamless compatibility across web, iOS, and Android platforms, making it easy to implement animations universally. Lastly, being open source fosters a large community of developers contributing to its enhancement providing ample resources and plugins for further animation improvements. Limitations of Lottie and JSON format. Lottie and JSON do not support all features of Adobe After Effects. You can see the supported features of Lottie with After Effects on the official Lottie Files website. Link in the description below. I recommend checking the complete list of supported features of Lottie before animating in After Effects to avoid simple mistakes. Secondly, we can't use default effects to create an animation because they are not supported. We often have to figure out how to achieve certain animations without using default effects. Here, I would like to tell you an important thing. We can use default effects and ignore all the limitations to create a specific animation for a specific project in After Effects. We can also export it using Body Movin in JSON format. However, that animation is not scalable and the size of the JSON file is much bigger than usual because it will not export as a vector animation. We will talk about this in more detail later in the video. Despite these limitations, we can use expressions to create desired animations, or we can do some complex animations manually. For example, I have this tree, and I want it to bend like this. I could easily do this with the CC bend effect, but, as you know, I can't use the effect, so I animated it manually. You need to learn how to animate in After Effects without relying on effects, if you export them as a JSON format. We can export all kinds of animation in JSON and Lottie format, such as logo animation, character animation, interactive animation, and 3D animation. However, the export settings are different for some animations, which we'll cover in the next chapter. Right now, we are in After Effects, and this is our animation. If you look closely, all the layers are shape layers, and I didn't use any default effects to create this animation. All I used were layer properties. If you look under this composition, there are also shape layers. To export this animation from After Effects, we need an extension called Body Move-In. It's a third-party extension that is open source, which means you can download it for free from the Ascripts website. After downloading the file, you need a ZXP installer to install this extension. To make this process easy, I created a separate tutorial for that. You can watch it if you have problems with the installation. The link is in the description below. 
All right, I have already completed the installation process. Now I go to Window, then Extensions, and select Body Move In. The Body Move In panel is added here. Let me extend this panel so you can see all the settings. These are our compositions created in After Effects, and Body Move In automatically detects them. Now I want to export this composition called Animation Moonwalk. So I select this composition here. Then I click this settings icon to show you the default settings. Make sure glyphs are selected. And then under export modes, choose the standard option. Then click save. Now look at these three green dots. Simply click on this to set the folder location where you want to export the JSON file. Give the file a name. Then hit save. After that, click on the render button. It will render your animation in JSON format. Now click on done. To see the preview, click on this preview button, then click on the current renders. This is our current rendered file. Simply click on this. This is our animation. Hit the play button to see the preview. It looks nice. If you wonder why this black wall is showing beneath the character, I will show you our character with a transparent background. Now you can see we can also control the transparency of the animation. All right, the next thing is the snapshot button. You can take a snapshot of any frame of the animation by clicking this button and it will save it as an SVG format to your computer. Next is background color. You can change the background color to check the animation preview, but it's just for checking. It's not implemented into your original animation. So this is the basic export setting for vector animation in After Effects. All right. So now we are going to understand how to export an animation from Body Movin that includes PNGs. This is a simple animation, and I used PNGs and shapes in the composition. As you can see here, you can see the size of the PNGs here. I am showing you this because the final JSON file size will be the sum of all the PNGs that I'm using here. All right, let's see how to export this. First of all, I click this option called Show All. This option reveals all the compositions here. Then I select the composition that I want to export and click on this settings icon. Let me expand the view so you can see it better. All right, make sure Glyphs is selected, then click on Assets, and under Assets, click the option called Include in JSON. The rest of the settings remain the same. Then click Save. Next, click the Render button. Body Move-In renders this animation in JSON format. Now we can see the preview here. That's how you can export PNGs from Body Move-In. Let's move on to the second example. Let's assume we need to use effects to create a certain animation and need to export it in JSON from Body Move-In. Well, we can do that too, but the file size will be much bigger than usual. Let me show you how it works. I create a new composition and name it Effects. One important tip, whenever you use effects, make sure the composition size is small. Then click OK. Now, I am adding a solid layer called Particles. Then I'm adding an effect on this solid layer called CC Particle System 2. If I play the video, it looks like this. So I change the values of this effect quickly. I just created this basic particle animation as an example, and the background is transparent. You can use any effects, but remember that after exporting this JSON file is not scalable, and the size is much bigger than usual. All right, let's move forward. To export this animation into JSON format, first, we need to export it as a PNG sequence. Let me show you how. First, go to File, then Export, then select Add to Render Queue. Then click on the Output module. In the Output module settings, change the format and choose PNG Sequence. Then go to Video Output, 
select Channels and choose RGB plus Alpha. Then click OK. After that, select the folder location where you want to export this animation. Then click on the Render button. The animation is rendered as a PNG sequence into that folder. Once it's completed, click here to import. These are the PNGs that we exported. Now pay attention. You have to select only one PNG, the one named Zero, which is the first PNG. Then click this option called PNG Sequence. Also, you can check this box if you wish. It will create a composition for you. Then click Import. It's playing smoothly. Now I cut this layer to around 2 seconds because I don't want to export the entire timeline. After that, add the body move-in extension, select the layer that we want to export, then click this settings icon to see the settings. Alright, as we did before, glyphs should be selected. Under assets, check the option called include in JSON and save it. Then select the folder location where you want to export this animation as a JSON format. Give it a name. And click on the Render button. Now, it will take some time, depending on the length of your timeline. Right now, Body Move-In is rendering each image and exporting it in a JSON file, which is why it is taking time. Alright, it's done. Now it's time to see the preview. Nice, our animation looks good in JSON format. So, that's how you can export any PNGs, effects, or videos from the Body Move In extension. But once again, use this method only when you have no other option. That's it for now. See you in the next video.